What's up, guys? Welcome back to The Witty Science Teacher. Today, we're going to take a sandwich and turn it into poop using the digestive system. Let's get started. These are the materials you are going to need to do the digestive system modeling. As the video goes along, I will show you what these materials represent and where to use them. Before doing the demonstration, you have to prepare the sandwich for the process. This is what I use to make the sandwiches for Poop Lab. This is just a mixture of refried beans, cocoa powder, and pumpkin put in a blender. You just mix it until it has a consistency like peanut butter. Peanut butter would be too expensive to use, and this gives you more product, and also usually there's not any allergies that I've had yet with the refried beans, pumpkin, and cocoa powder. And then you'll just put it on the sandwich like peanut butter to make a sandwich. For this part, you'll need a bowl, the sandwich, and a small amount of water. Mechanical and chemical. So these are my teeth for this demonstration, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my teeth and I'm going to bite pieces of my sandwich. I want to bite small pieces because I don't want to choke in a minute when I swallow it, okay? So I'm going to bite with my teeth. So what Make sure to stop to pour water in the bowl to show how saliva aids in the chemical digestive process in the mouth. Here we will add the paper towel tube, the gallon Ziploc bag, and the Sprite. Now I'm ready to swallow my sandwich. Okay? Raise your hand if you can tell me where it's going to go when I swallow it. The esophagus. Good job. So this is going to represent my esophagus, okay? So let's say I... Swallowing food. Is it just going to fall from my esophagus to the next organ? No. No. What's the esophagus going to do? It's going to squeeze it. Right. It's going to squeeze it. Okay? So when it passes through the esophagus, what organ does it go to next? The stomach. Stomach. So here's my mouth, esophagus, stomach. So I chew and swallow. Okay? And then it goes to my stomach. Once the entire sandwich has made its way to the stomach, pour in the Sprite to represent the hydrochloric acid, and then continue squishing and churning the sandwich in the bag to show how chemical digestion and mechanical digestion both take place in the stomach. The function of the small intestines will be represented by the knee high and Mountain Dew. For this part, you will need to remove the food from the stomach and put it into the knee high, which will represent the small intestines. In this part, the knee high will be stretchy, and you can make it long like the small intestines, but then it'll also, you can model the nutrients being absorbed into the bloodstream. So for this, you'll need to pour the bile, or the Mountain Dew, onto the food in the small intestines. Then start squeezing the small intestines to have some of the juices start leaking out, and you can use this to demonstrate how nutrients are absorbed out at the small intestines. For this part, you will need paper towels. Once the food has been removed from the small intestines, place it onto the paper towel and squeeze. This demonstrates how the large intestines removes excess water. For this part, you will need a sandwich bag. Where does it go next? The rectum. What's the rectum do? Oh, I know. It makes it ready to Okay, it gets it ready. Basically, it stores it. So we have a storage bag. For this part, you can pre-cut your bag or you can use scissors during the demonstration to cut the anus, which always makes it a little more fun. Cut an anus. <laughs> and then it's ready for its final exit. And we bet you Okay. There it goes. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you try this demonstration out, I'd love to hear from you and hear how it went. Questions or comments, drop them below. See you next time.